Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video it is time for a new nail polish of the week color. In my nail polish of the week series I just swatch and review, just talk about one random color from my nail polish collection and yeah, let's just start it off. Because first of all I am going to start with a base of course, also make sure that you have removed your previous manicure if you were wearing any and I'm going going in with a base by Trend It Up. I actually bought this when I was in Germany back in September 2020. So yeah, I can't get this brand in my local drugstore, but whenever I go to Germany, I am able to stock up again. So yeah, you just want to apply that to your natural nails. But if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. Hit that notification bell as well if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, which is at least three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So yeah, let's continue. As I mentioned, you want to start off with your base coat. You can just take your own nail supplies while watching this video and do your nails together with me. Of course, you can use any base coat of your personal preference. I just like it switch it up a little bit lately because I have been using that PJR nail polish or PJR Care nail polish. I always switch up that name for some reason, but you know the base and top coat that I've been ranting or more like raving about non-stop for the last couple of months. I've been using that one so much I felt like I wasn't doing my other base and top coats justice enough so I wanted to switch it up a little bit and that is why I chose in today's video to use one by Trend It Up. But of course just grab any of your base coats that you like to use. I just really like this one. It kind of gives like a soft filter effect to the nail and it is a little bit like a rich filling as well, which is something that I definitely need on some of my nails. I do have a couple of ridges in my nails, which is totally normal and natural, stuff like that. Like that's just the way my nails are, but it can definitely have something to do with your diet as well. So make sure you have a well balanced and healthy diet to prevent any ridges. But for today's color, I'm going in with a color by Sally Hansen from the Insta Try collection. This one is 333 Peachy Breeze. It is a hot neon peachy pink. That's how I would describe this one. It isn't like a Barbie pink or anything because those have like more reddish into them and this one has a little bit more orange kind of towards the corally orangey peachy tones if you know what I mean but it is super bright and super fun and I am really longing for longer days, more daylight, more sunlight and just a little bit more warmth and fun in life because with the whole like world pandemic stuff still going on pretty much everywhere around the world, I feel like we can use a little bit of like positivity and a color like this just screams positive energy in my opinion. Same goes for yellow colors by the way or at least that is how I tend to see them. Those are like really fun and just spirit uplifting kind of colors just like this one and I just oh I love this color. It is super gorgeous. I have to mention like the brush from these Sally Hansen Insta Dry polishes can be a little tricky if you're not really used to them. Especially when applying the polish to my pinky nail, which is a very, very like narrow nail. It is not wide at all. I have to be really careful not to flood the cuticle area or the sides of the nails because it is quite a wide brush and my pinky nail is just super, super narrow. I think a lot of you have the same um, kind of like shape, I'd say, or at least pinky nails tend to be quite narrow. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me as well, but at least I know a lot of other nail girls and guys and pinky nails tend to be quite narrow, especially like when you compare it to other nails as well. And of course that totally makes sense because the pinky finger is the smallest one, but I feel like it's just 
a cute little teeny adorable nail you know like when it comes to width and stuff like that but yeah i really really love this first coat of this beautiful peachy breeze color so far as you can see it's like 90 percent opaque i have a little bit of patchiness going on where i haven't applied a thick enough layer i'd say the um insta dry polishes or at least the line of insta dry polishes by sally hansen they promise to be completely dry within a minute personally i feel like they could definitely use like two to three minutes if you're working with like thin coats if you are applying a thicker coat i would definitely wait in between five to ten minutes because these are really really pigmented polishes they contain a lot of color pigments and they are quite creamy as well the substancy is more towards the thicker end of the spectrum i'd say so that basically means that they just need a little extra time to become completely dry and hardened out because sometimes a polish can actually feel like it's dry but then for instance if you're doing your nails at night time before you go to bed and then you go to bed and it's not completely hardened out yet you will wake up with dents in your nail polish and that is not a pretty sight and that is not what we want, okay? So just make sure that your nail polish has a decent amount of time to dry, especially if you're going to apply a second layer as well. Make sure that the first coat is like almost completely dry before you go in with the next, or of course, wait a couple of minutes longer until it's completely dry. I feel like it doesn't really make a big difference for me if I wait three minutes or five minutes in between my layers because I tend to apply um, like the similar amount of polish per coat that is just something that I've thought myself because I've been doing nails or at least my own nails for so so long like I can't even tell you how long it's been <laughs> so yeah it's just something that you get used to and you get your own swung into it if you know what I mean so yeah just make sure that it is dry before you go in with your top coat and the top coat that I am going to use is actually a quick drying one from Trend It Up as well, which is actually a brand that is sold at the DM drugstores that are located in Germany. Of course, I do live in the Netherlands and Germany is my neighbor country, but still I have to drive like four to five hours to actually come close to the border because I live on the west side of the Netherlands and not the east side, which is next to Germany. Germany. So yeah, if you ever go to Germany, make sure to visit a DM drugstore because they have so many gorgeous polishes and they are a little less expensive compared to here in the Netherlands. But back to the video because I just showed you that there is a little bit of like peachy pink pigment going on on my little top coat brush and that is something that happens especially with polishes that are as highly pigmented as this one for instance is even though your polish is completely dry there might still be some pigment rubbing off of the brush or onto the brush just make sure that you remove it just wipe it off on a piece of like a kitchen towel or something like that before you put it back into the bottle of top coat just to make sure there isn't any like color contamination or muddiness going on in your top coat and you won't have any like pink streaks onto your finished design next time you're going to use that top coat but yeah this was actually already my new nail polish of the week video let me know what you think about this color because personally it screams spring and summer to me and i just love this color it is such a positive vibe kind of color and i love it so so much oh for the record i have bought all of the polishes that i'm using in this particular video myself i'm not sponsored or anything like that to make this video this is just something that i love to do it's my biggest passion in life and i really hope you enjoy hanging out with me while painting your nails and watching this video as well but thank you guys so so much for watching i love you so so much if you have any questions or comments or anything like that let me know in the comments section down below and yeah i'd love to see you in my next video